Boom! Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to another edition of the Brothers of Legacy. I am your host with the most, A.D. Walker, and today we are talking about are you considering what's next? So it's kind of broad because, I, uh, you know, when you get torn between what you want to talk about, you kind of give a broad stroke. So when people come in, they're not surprised. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> but uh, we are discussing today, uh, we're recapping some of what we discussed. Uh, and we're talking about kind of what's next um, as far as the variants. Variants, right? In <laughs> the variant uh, with the Delta and the Kappa Lambda Nu <laughs> and this coronavirus and all of that, what it means, what does it look like? We're going to uh, kind of play Notre Dame here and predict the future. Good morning, Aunt Sam in the building. Good morning, Lisa. As always, blessings to you, my friend. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Sharing is caring. Um, so I appreciate you guys. Make sure you share. Uh, let everybody know that the brothers are in the building. Uh, so I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you always supporting and being a part um, of this broadcast. Just as a Brothers of Legacy note, I know you see I rock this old one of our older shirts. It's funny saying old shirts, probably about a year, two years old. It's the old style, it's old style. Um, if you've seen the other shirts, we will have them on sale. I'm pushing for tomorrow, so you have an opportunity to buy. We'll have the blue version and the kind of like purplish version. <laughs> I mean, my colors, but you'll see it and you'll get an opportunity to purchase and support the brothers. It's, uh, it's an effort to support as well as get merchandise from us as well. So definitely look forward to that i pray that you guys can hear me well um and that's good what up richard good morning good morning so we appreciate you guys rocking and hanging with us um we're gonna have an amazing show uh my brother from another mother is back in the building um he needed so much needed rest and my prayer is is he ready to roll <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna have a great show. Oh, um, so you know what? I'm just gonna kick this intro and then we're gonna bring them up and we're gonna get it started. Let's do this spliggity splow and spliggity splow. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to another edition of the Brothers of Legacy. Damn. Welcome back, Pastor Brian A. McCrory. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, indeed. Good Hello, morning. everybody. Let's see. Do that. Yes, indeed. Make sure you guys share. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Um, let's see. My numbers is off, so I think everybody's people are here. It's just not showing it. So if you're in the building, say what's up. Say good morning again, just to make sure we, we're good and we're broadcasting everywhere. Say, hey, good morning. What's up? This is all I'm going to say today. <laughs> whatever, whatever you feel like saying. Um, just let me know. Make sure I'm saying we're still connected. Because, of course, my phone is not in my reach. I'm charging it against the wall. Um, so I appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. As always, um, this is we always have conversations that are community related and things that we are dealing with or conversations we've been having and we want to want you to be a part of you know one time pastor said this is kind of like the barbershop conversation you just have an opportunity to share <laughs> from the outside and You're see it actually in, happen yeah. <laughs> oh let's see so today uh tomorrow are we considering what's next right so we we uh for this month we spoke about school and preparing and getting our boys ready and getting our ladies ready uh the mindset um legacy thinking um trying to you know shift their mindset past just 
uh, chasing after money. Um, so today, <laughs> do you have a barbershop choir? <laughs> Bar- barbershop quartet. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's <laughs> class. That's before my time. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny kirk franklin uh there's a there's a show that comes on i think it's the bet channel uh and it gives these uh they're interviewing people you know famous people and kirk franklin is one of the ones that was getting it's called uncensored and kirk franklin was on an episode and he talked about all of his gifts and and he talked about stepping into music wanted to be in the music he said i had all the gifts he said but I couldn't sing. <laughs> I couldn't sing. <laughs> so, no, we don't have a barbershop quartet because we can't sing. We can't sing. Yeah, you don't want us. You don't want us. No, no. Good morning, Samantha. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. So, trust me, if we could, we'd come on here. We'd start out singing. And <laughs> if, if I, it, look, if I could sing, bruh. <laughs> good oh, man. <laughs> we'd be going back and forth. <laughs> hey. If, look, then like look out, Vegeta. world. If, if this dude right here could hold a note, look <laughs> out, world. <laughs> Spend the first 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. I just can't even, I can't even imagine. I would imagine be no good. Good. You'd have to pray for me, man. If I <laughs> Is he saying it again? <laughs> I, I would be dangerous. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, so. Are we considering what's next, right? So with the, and it's crazy. Like uh, I actually started like Googling <coughs> the, the <coughs> excuse me, the coronavirus variants and like as the- As he coughs. Right, right, right. <coughs> so the, um, like the, the Delta, the Lambda, you know, we was joking. I was like, these are really the, the variants, you know, the Delta, the Lambda, the Theta. Um, <laughs> It's is is wild, like it's a conspiracy. And, They're coming after the fraternities. Right, right. <laughs> you hear you heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> it's where it started. Where it started. Um, yeah. and uh, you know, it's preparing like of course the rumors will there be another shutdown? Um yeah. will there will we be able to just kind of <laughs> burrow through this? Because that's what it seemed like. Everyone just kind of like, okay. It's okay. It's a lot of numbers, but we're gonna be all right. Let's just keep moving like we've normally done. <laughs> you know, like let's just mm-hmm. keep life going. Let's not stop. You know what we're doing. Um, you know, like no one obviously, of course, business is like, man, we can't, we can't afford to shut down. <laughs> you know, like we don't want, or we don't want to shut down again. You know, no one wants to go back. You know, and and I feel like schools have kind of rushed. You know, they, I think they tried to come up. I, I outside on the school saying I, I can understand like if I was in the boardroom or not the boardroom but the the board like just talking like how are we gonna well we can just try this why don't we try this why don't we try this let's just we gotta open schools up <laughs> you know you know you, you know you have the boss or the like I don't care what you gotta do we just gotta get these schools open you know <laughs> and everyone's like I don't know how, how are we gonna open these schools <laughs> and everyone and then you got the principal trying to figure it out and you got the teachers like and the principal's like I don't care what you do just, just get the kids in the class. <laughs> it's like, what? You got to get 40 kids yeah. in this class yeah. and space them out. I don't care. I don't care how you do it. <laughs> you know, like, as long as they're in the class. Because I could literally imagine as long as they're in the class. And the teacher's like, what? <laughs> what? Am it's I happening. Doing? You know? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, no, I, it, it's literally happening. We kept Rachel home today. Mm. Okay. Because, um, I found out over the weekend that one of her friends who's in high school is a senior with her right, right. is home. She was like, we haven't seen him in like almost two weeks. Wow. And I find out he's at home with COVID and nobody knew. Oh. So the parents kept him home oh. and she came and said that to, to me and her mother. And I'm like, well, what, you, like, how is he at home with COVID and you not know? She said, well, dad, I'm telling you, he, he told me his his parents told him not to tell anybody. Right. So I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow. Hey, mama, You're bro. telling me that a student from your school. Right. Was pulled out of school by his parents because right. of coming up positive with COVID. Right. And but they didn't tell anybody. Wow. 
So I said, you need to call him back. Right. You need to tell him. Right. Your parents have heard this and your parents are calling the school. Right. So already know. Yeah, right. Don't, you know, she's like, we well, don't use my name. I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be the person that snitched and all that. I'm like, I, you know, <laughs> what? Stop. Right. right? So <clears throat> she calls him back. Then she comes back with another report that says he spoke to the principal. Okay. For 30 minutes. And the principal told him to let the people know that you've had direct contact with and no one else. Now, this is the message. He was told wow. to tell the people that you've had direct contact with and no one wow. else. This dude is on the football team. The football Damn. team thinks he's home with strep throat. Oh, are you kidding me? Bro, so I'm like, so, you know, <laughs> Rachel wow. and my wife, you know, my wife took Rachel to go get tested yesterday. Okay. I haven't been tested because I haven't, you know, but I just wanted like if they test and come back right, 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 positive, then I'd need right. to go. But we're we're yeah. quarantining ourselves because and, right. and I'm like, well, let me ask you a question. And then we so I'm <laughs> I'm all over the place because I'm no, no you fine. I've got, phone, this... I've, I've got a phone call into the school already, right? Because they weren't open over the weekend, right? Also with the board with the uh, board of health because the principal. Um, so what we found out <laughs> is we have, my wife hadn't checked her email. So she has three emails from the school from last week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So on Tuesday, they send an email saying they had someone come up positive with COVID. They've done their investigation. They've spoken with the board of health and there's no need to concern yourself because they were able to limit the contacts. Okay. Thursday, the same email comes out. We had another person test positive for COVID. And it's the same email. We've spoken to the Board of Health and there's no need to, to be concerned. We've limited the contact. Friday, the same email. So three times in the same week, the same email, three different cases of a positive test result for COVID-19 at the same school. And you're telling me you don't have a problem. You're all in the same building. Right, right. You got three different cases inside of one wow. week that you've sent emails out, and you've said in all three cases you've spoken to the board of health, and they've wow. told you there's no cause for concern, and you're wow. all in the same building. Wow. No. Nah. No. Nah. Wow. That just doesn't add up. <laughs> right. Right. So I'm dealing right. with that right nah. now. Right. Wow. At my daughter's high school. And then wow. I, I and I look at the news this morning, and there's a uh, one of her teachers just lost her husband. Wow. Uh, her husband is a teacher at Luella Middle School, uh, and he he just died of COVID August thirteenth. Wow. He was sick in June. Now he's fully vaccinated. Right. He was sick in June. Right. Yes. Yeah, standard letter, McNair. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. He was sick What's in June. Like? Um, and from June to to August, he tested negative three times for COVID. Wow. He had the symptoms. Yeah. They, they concluded that it was just a seasonal. Yeah. Flu. Like this, yeah. And then he get, went back. He, they, he, they could not overcome it. It would take it over the counter medications and stuff. Couldn't overcome it. He goes back to the hospital. He gets admitted because of pneumonia. And then he tests positive the fourth time. And he just died wow. August 13th. Wow. Right. Now this is a man who was fully vaccinated. Right. Uh, right. Working in the school system, Luella right. Middle School. His right. wife is the choir or the chorus teacher at my daughter's high school. Wow. <laughs> wow. So I'm, you know, I'm just like, <laughs> so to your point, the, the yeah. principal, they're trying to keep the children in school. Yeah, they don't right. want to shut down because they don't want to lose funding. They want to be able right. to pay teachers and all that kind of stuff. Right. So they are controlling the narrative yes to keep the schools <laughs> yeah. open yeah. good right? morning, Keita. Good morning Keita. so i'm so i'm in that right now wow i'm in that right now so you know imagine you know i'm, I'm trying to rest and get myself back up on my feet and you know um you know thank god we got brianne moved in last week yes indeed. you know um and and that was tough just trying to manage that and we're trying to move her in and i'm yeah. dealing with my health issues right and and, you know, we're masked up and, and we're moving her into her apartment 
right. and nobody has a mask on. Oh. Like I'm, I'm, we're moving her in and out and I see parents, I see young people nobody and I'm like, like, I'm telling you, if I saw a hundred people, right. you know, 80 of them didn't have a mask on. Right. And you're right. That's true too. You <laughs> said your governor <laughs> putting the pressure on the school. Right. 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 Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's just evil. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. evil. Yeah. What they're doing That's, is evil. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Cause it's like, I always think about the police, you know, trying to play with the numbers so it doesn't look as bad, you know, try to keep the numbers down, keep the reports down, you know, cause I mean, honestly, just probably the way the school set up and you know how kids, you know, young kids are, you know, at uh Stockbridge, you know, like my kids, I, we didn't even take them into school just by like I was talking about the setup of the classroom made us uncomfortable. <laughs> then getting the child approaching my daughter with the mask down, like, hey Alexis. And I'm looking like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> you know, because so I, I, I went the, to the, the doctor's kids. office. I, I had to go get checked out last week. Yeah. Okay. And I, I go in, I sign into the doctor's office. Uh, I'm waiting to be called back. Right. I'm sitting in the lobby with my mask on. There's three people in the lobby. Right. A brother walks in. He looks like he's 6'5", 300 pounds. Wow. He has the mask on his mouth, but not on his nose. His nose. Right. Now, when I sign in, you know, they ask me, you know, there's like 15 symptoms of COVID. Are you experiencing any of these symptoms? Okay. So you have to check. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't. I was there for a different reason. Right. Um, and I can hear him interact. Now, I'm, the first thing I notice is that the mask isn't over his nose. Right. And I'm in the doctor's office and I'm like, OK, you're in the doctor's office. You know, you should have. Yeah. And yeah. he looks miserable. OK, oh. he looks miserable. He looks like he's sick. Yeah. Okay? He got something. I'm yeah. He got COVID, something. But he looked like something. <laughs> like in my mind, it's COVID. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, trust me. Everybody, listen. Everybody right. got COVID. So you, you I'm, you know, I'm spitting, and I'm like, okay, Lord, I, you know, right. I don't want to do this. I don't want to let my mind wander. You know, I'm right. in the doctor's office and all this kind of right. stuff, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to mentally ridicule this man. Yeah, yeah, yes, right? yes, indeed, yes, indeed. But I'm sitting there, and you know, the TV's on, and I'm, you know, <laughs> just right. watching him. Yes, and yes. I hear, I hear them ask him, "Can you check?" if you're dealing, how many of these symptoms? And he's like, you know, this one, I got the headache. I got the oh, cough and you can hear me breathing. Oh, I'm exhausted. And, and he just going down the line and I'm like, oh. and, and, and I'm, and I'm trying to figure out how come they haven't encouraged him to cover his nose. Right, 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 right. So right, I hear right. them say to him, uh, well, sir, it looks like you have several of the, the symptoms. Um, right. We're going to get you called back. Can we ask you to wait? outside just out of oh, respect for the people in the right. lobby until we can, yeah. we'll come get you right and he's like well my ride uh left and she ain't gonna be back for about 20 minutes uh i don't want to sit outside they were like well is it is it raining is it he said no right. i'm tired i don't want to and he refused to go outside so i hear them say well there's a bench over there in the corner next to the tv you know right. they want to put him as far away so he's and so he walks over to the bench he turns around, he looks at the TV, he looks at the lobby, he looks at the bench, and then he goes and sits right in the middle of the lobby. And as soon as he sits down, they call my name. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Right. So I get my, and I go to the back. And I'm, I'm just like, I mean, this, this is what we're dealing with. Right. Right. He, he clearly has come to the doctor's office because he's concerned that he has COVID. Right. He's, he doesn't have his nose covered up. He checks off like I mean, out of 15 symptoms, he had seven of them. Oh, man. And he won't go outside and wait out of respect for other people in the lobby. And then wow. he sits right in the middle, middle. Right. Right. Of the lobby. And just leans back. Wow. Right. Exactly, Dr. Rollins. Just that, looked that, miserable. That's it right there. Right? Selfishness. Right. Yeah. It was, wow. it was just horrible. I'm like, wow. I'm, I'm coming in here for one thing. I, you know, you're going to... Make me leave out of here with something else, you know? Right, right, right. Wow. And and you know, and you don't want to say anything because people are so crazy. <laughs> yes, right? I know, I know. So I'm just I like, know. Lord, I just you know, I, I'm, I just want to feel mad. better. You start yeah, arguing, just, taking the mask off. Feel better. Yeah, right? it's, it's been a tough week. <laughs> yes. You know, I don't, and I and like I love the Lord, yes, indeed, right? But I'm like, I'm like, I'm just not all the way there yet. I will catch a case. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, just the yeah. human side of me. I just don't have yeah. that level of discipline where if you are coming at me or my family, right. I'm going right. to fight. Right. Right. And that's just the truth. Yeah. And I admit that out loud, yeah. you know, and I'm and I'm just it's nothing but the grace of God that it, like I would have had to go outside and wait outside. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah. avoid confrontation. Yeah. Right. But it's like, what do you do in situation? And then I'm and then I see. So when you talk about, you know, what what's next? I'm just like, yeah, what is next? Because right. everywhere I turn, I see unmasked people. And right. every time you turn on the television or open up an article, there's a vaccinated person. Right. Sick. Right. And, and, they, and they're like right. people are saying, stop calling them breakthrough cases because right. the right. vaccination is not. It's mitigation. It's not prevention. It doesn't right. prevent you from catching COVID. So somehow right. people right. have it in their minds that if I'm vaccinated, I'm free. Prevent. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not. And I mean, and like I so I'll say this. Just just like I don't I don't want to sound like sound like this, but just tell us the whole truth. This is what it does. This is how, it, you know, like and we if we're all on one page. You know, more people will probably get vaccinated, but when you hear so many, okay, it's this way, it does this, it does that. No, it does this, it does this. You know, but we, as we clearly see, like you said, it's it's a mitigation. So if you get COVID, it it seems like it doesn't hurt you. At, it's not supposed to hurt you as much. It seems like that's what extreme. the vaccine does. That's it, because it's still spreading. You know, yeah. And and then somehow the the story of the unvaccinated are spreading it which is to me seems preposterous it's not true it seems like everybody gets it <laughs> and can spread it you know like I, it doesn't seem like they're the vaccinated are holding it and i say this if anybody has any other information throw it up there we, we're having a discussion and and just as a case as just as a point i always say in, in this broadcast me nor pastor are doctors <laughs> medical professionals <laughs> of any level and, and we did not stay at a holiday in last night <laughs> Right. So we really don't know. Oh, um, so let me get, let's see. All right. Good morning, Cole. Oh, good morning, Cole. Oh, <laughs> morning, Daisy. Morning, morning, Pastor. Morning, morning. So sir. we're just discussing what we've seen, you know, from, from our limited view, but you got three different perspectives. <laughs> so it's growing <laughs> and, and kind of what we know of, of what's happening. So like I said, this we're having these conversations because I know you guys are having these same conversations. You know, they vary. They're a little different. I, we want we we welcome your opinion. We welcome throw it, it, whatever facts you got. <laughs> welcome. Throw it in there. If you're on Facebook, throw a link in there. If there's something like, hey, you need to check this out. We'll look at it later. We may discuss it tomorrow. But we're having this conversation because the, we're concerned, you know, about just how all of this is transpiring. You know, my, my thing is. I felt like, and I know nobody wants it because trust me, I want I want things to be kind of like normal. I want to go back to hanging out. I want to go back to just doing what you know what we've normally done. You know, oh, uh, but I hate the mask. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I will say I've I've kind of gotten used to it. Like at first I it was a, it's I think I yeah cause I tell you the first time like working in it when I think the first time working in I think I was at the church. I had it over my face. You know, I like something you're trying to figure out and it's like extra annoying because I got this mask on. <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting hot. I'm like, ah. I was like, I need a minute because <laughs> this yeah. is just driving me crazy. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, so it, it's like I said, I want to go back. I don't want to wear the mask. But it seemed like we needed to stay in a more of a shutdown state. Maybe not to the highest of when we started. But not as free as we are. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, NAACP. Oh, right. oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> read, sit down when you read that article. Oh, that really? Dr. Put, just posted. Oh, no. make sure you're sitting down. <laughs> no offense to to all the vaccinated people. Uh oh, okay. We'll we'll check that out. Maybe I will try to pull it up. Um, so cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I, we're talking about are we considering what's next um, mm -hmm. with the COVID? How do you feel now? Tennessee, right? Yes, sir. Okay. What is is Tennessee pretty much? Tennessee is pretty much open, open state like everybody else, or are they kind of? 
<laughs> uh, yeah, Tennessee is relatively open. Uh, and I say relatively because uh, they hem and haw about what they want to do in the governmental buildings. Right. Uh, they don't know if they want to be protective or not. Uh, but in terms of every other in uh, every other institution, schools included, okay, it's it's relatively open. Gotcha, gotcha. No no mask mandates. Yeah, no mask mandates. Okay, okay, okay. That's a different article, uh, Doctor Rollins. Yeah, Tennessee is fractured. Gotcha. So how do um, you? It's a very good way of putting it. Yeah, past a very good way of putting it. Oh, you said Tennessee is fractured. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. okay, yeah, okay. Now, they, their governor is uh, Republican or Democrat? He's Republican. Republican. Okay. okay. The, you know, that varies. You know. Remember, Nashville was in the news a week ago. The school board meeting. Right. right. That's Tennessee. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. And, and, and Nashville is not the most conservative of areas in Tennessee. Wow. You have to go right. about two and a half hours east to uh, where University of Tennessee is, Knoxville. Yeah. That Knoxville. area. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. They are heavily, mm -hmm. heavily in the red there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 So, I mean, do, do you um, do you feel like a shutdown is looming um, or do you feel like people are going to try to burrow through this and and for lack of a better way, manipulate the numbers to try to try to make sure, you know, to try to get through this. So hopefully it goes down, you know, without it. Without it's it's all of the above. Uh, yeah, uh, you, uh, you stole my answer, Pastor. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, can I say all of the above? Because I think that's exactly what's going to happen in the coming yeah. months up right. to, I'll even say next summer. I, I really mm. believe that we're going to have uh, cases where we're going to see many, many of these uh, governmental agencies skirt numbers mm -hmm. uh so they wouldn't look as bad right like new york for example right <laughs> uh or you know or as good as possibly uh things are right and you're gonna have these varying degrees of shutdowns and yeah. you're gonna have the varying degrees of 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 resistance toward that right. uh, i believe we're headed toward that again and as painful as it was when we went through this last spring we might as well gear up to, for it again in the in the fall because I, re, I really believe we're headed in that direction again yeah wow. yeah wow yeah wow i mean i was i don't know you know like many i think i was hoping for the rest and then i was hoping you know the vaccine was going to kind of do something as far as the you know the maybe like a state will make it <laughs> like states will start disappearing you know like it'll, it'll start hey this this state <laughs> it's it's gone away. Like they're doing good. You know, they've only had one case, <laughs> you know, and no death, you know, or like five cases and no death, you know, but uh, he said disruptive riots. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think the challenge that you have is, you know, what what has us where we are today is yes. the the misnomer that getting vaccinated was the it's end the all. Cure all. Yeah. Yes. Right? Cure all. And, and mm -hmm. because people went, ran out and got vaccinated and then snatched their masks off. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? And so yeah. what happens to someone who's been vaccinated and is not carrying such a heavy viral load where they're, you know, they're experiencing all the symptoms. You right. remain functional, but right. you don't go put your mask back on. You can right. still pass the virus to other people who are unvaccinated. Right. So what right. they do is they they're they're emphasizing the number of deaths of unvaccinated people. Yes. Right. Yes. <sighs> As yeah, if, right. Mm. As if all of a sudden, you know, the problem is with people not getting vaccinated. That is right. a problem, but that's not the problem. Right. The problem uh. is people are not practicing social distancing. They're right. not practicing the safety measures and all of that. Right. Not enough people are doing that, those types of things. Right. Uh, and even more so when the va and, and then, you know, we don't even talk about the people who are walking around without a mask on as if they're vaccinated and they're not. And they aren't. That yeah. too. So so when you that opened too. it up and said, you know, vaccinated people don't have to wear a mask, <laughs> unvaccinated people said, <laughs> who, who gonna question me? Right. Who's gonna question me? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. And and I and I will I will piggyback on that and and saying that it's 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 quite disturbing. We're gonna see more of this fake news fake media stuff exactly 
for the reason that Pastor said. We're going to see more of these stories of the unvaccinated who have died. Like there's a story at Nashville, actually, the right. story of a, of a conservative talk show host who he wasn't necessarily an anti-vaxxer, but he didn't take the vaccine. OK, OK. And he sort of and he sort of rolled the. It's my it, it's my prerogative type of thing. Shout out, Buddy Brown. It, it's, <laughs> he, he sort of rode that train. Look, it, right. it's it, it's it's my choice. It's my decision. I'm I'm gonna do this. So he contracted COVID last month, and last week he died. Mm, yeah. And and in seeing it, I was alarmed, but I was also alarmed with the understanding too of hearing someone and I actually had, a, had a, have a friend of mine who I think it was two nights ago put on his Facebook board yeah you notice that you have these people who are anti-vaxxers and do diet and the media puts the coverage on them don't you find that disturbing yeah we're seeing more of that type of stuff yeah wow. and wow. so it's like yeah we wow. have to actually safeguard against all of these things and actually well, since I'm in the media, report the news as it is. <laughs> right, right, right. Why? Well, you said Why? something. Not you know, try to the I, I read... anything one way or the other. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pastor. I, I read probably four different articles in the last week mm. of conservative politicians that were anti-maskers. Mm. Right. who have tested positive and wow. died wow. of COVID-19. Wow. Some of the last words were, COVID is no joke. Wear right. your mask. Right. Protect yourselves and your family. This is right. real. Right. You know, I know I read at least four different articles of conservatives right. who were standing against mask mandates right. who have right. now died. Right. Councilmen. Right. Yeah, and and it's it's just right. really it's really sad. Yes, mm -hmm. Dr. Rollins, especially young people. Asymptomatic, yes. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and McNair, yeah, asymptomatic people, and that's the point. It's like you know, people are walking around here and they're sick, right. and and they're 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 not showing symptoms. There's also people walking around here that have right. some of the symptoms, but are still out functioning yeah. as if they're not contagious. Right. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Right. Let me let me share that example really quick with you, Pastor. So, and I, I told uh, AD this story last Monday. Well, okay, for those who don't know, my wife is an entrepreneur and she has her own office. So, outside of her office is a waiting area. And last Monday, she went to work and everything was fine. So she's out her out in her office and she's doing her work. And all of a sudden, she hears this incessant loud cough, like it's coming from an old man. And this cough went for about 15 or so minutes. So she wanted to actually, uh, it, bless her heart, she actually went out to investigate what this was happening. <laughs> so she goes out there and she realizes it's a five-year-old boy just hacking right. his butt off. And yeah. do you think he covered his mouth? No. Do you think he had a mask on? No. Mm -hmm. And you know, since I said five years old, that wow. there isn't a vaccine for five-year-olds. So right. you know he is not vaccinated. Vaccine. Right, right. Now, what makes this even fun, what makes this even funnier in terms of dark humor and irony? His parents were there. Mm. Both mother and father were there. Guess what they did have? Right. Masks. Wow. And so they yeah. were so ashamed when my wife got into the space they turned their wow. back to her because they just did not know what to think or what to, what to say wow. or what to do. Hey, meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile, little man is coughing like he's 75 wow. years old and he smokes four packs of cigarettes a day. Wow. And, wow. and, and just coughing out loud <laughs> like that. Wow. And I'm like, oh, wow. Lord, have mercy. Right. That's, and, that's the other piece that's really odd when I see adults mashed up. Right. And and they have children. The children are unmasked. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what? Right. What message? Yeah. Right. I mean, like that. That picture just doesn't make any sense. It yeah. doesn't. You're going to protect yourself, mm -hmm. yeah. but not protect your children. The children oh, forget oh, it. Oh, that's right. Children are immune to COVID. Okay. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. right. Because right. he's not twelve and he's not old enough for the free vaccine, right. he's immune. 
mute to it. Yeah. Right. And so and, okay. and so we and so we see these stories, and I've been running I've been running into these stories day after day for the last two weeks of these parent of these parent parents just invading the school boards. And I'm sure since you're in Georgia, you know that you have endured this too. Invading right. these school boards and saying you cannot. In your right and conscious right. mind, mandate having masks for my child, and you're not going to tell my child that they need to wear a mask because that's right. my job. Right. Uh, <sighs> and, it's, and it's like, you all don't get it. Yeah. We are under a pandemic situation. Your yeah. children should be protected more than any other entity, yet you feel as though it is your burden to right. bear whether you should protect them or not. And unfortunately, sir or ma'am, you're <laughs> failing them. Right, right. right. Yes. You know, it's, 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 it's interesting right. when you read the Bible, you look at the Old Testament, when people had conditions, mm -hmm. right? Because there were uh, epidemics mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the Old Testament. Yes. Right? And, yeah. and people had to be isolated. Right. Exactly. Right. right. Now, right. God was God then. <laughs> Right, just same as he is right. now. Exactly. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right. I mean, if you had yes. open doors and boils and stuff, you you know, you yes. were supposed to be isolated. Get outside yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. Don't away, yeah, away. No, I mean, I mean over same, here. But the same God that was a healer then, right, right, right. same God, same where they today. still had to isolate. <laughs> you had to quarantine. He's a healer. Right. He was a healer right. then. Right. He's the same healing God today. Right. But right? people still had issues. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. Oh, yeah. So to all those people who say, uh, oh, you just don't have enough faith. Oh. <laughs> right. We going there now. No, right. <laughs> I'm not I'm not challenged in my faith. No. no. I'm challenged I'm, in your stupidity. Right. Yes. <laughs> because I am right. something that you're not. That's wise. <laughs> yeah. when, when the Bible says, you know, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, right. which is to try you as though some strange thing has happened yeah. to you. Yes. You know, do you think that might include catching a cold? Right. Yeah. yeah like, right. I really want to say to some, some of these parents. Right. And I'm, I'm basically paraphrasing here. Yeah. There's there's this scripture with, which basically says wisdom is the principal thing. Get it. And right now. You are not getting wisdom. You're getting foolishness, and you're right. parading around so as bad. if you're a fool. <laughs> right, and it's just ridiculous. Stupidity. Right, right. Oh, let's see. Let me read some of these comments. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is Dr. Rollins said vaccinated or or not. People went out, continuing life as usual. Correct, and, Dr. Rollins. Yeah, the virus wasn't gone or isn't gone. Needed to continue being masked. And physically distanced. Yes, and still need to do that today. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, Richard said. It's one of number <laughs> of measures passed. The vaccines is a part of it. I wear my mask on transportation or in shops and for restaurants. Right. Good job, Richard. Right. And good job. Uh, Elvin said, "Yeah, asymptomatic and mm -hmm. still spreading it." Yes, indeed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, um, one hundred. See, here are some wives of anti-vaxxers who was fit. Twenty-five died of COVID nineteen, and their wives and kids pleaded to people to get the vaccine. Right. Twenty-five. Then, uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Jesse Jackson and wife hospitalized from cold complications. I think mm -hmm. they called it COVID. Yeah, I they called it COVID. They, they, they call, said they got COVID. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yesterday was dubbed. It was officially dubbed COVID. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. I yeah. didn't see that. Yeah. 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 Leave, wow. yeah. Right. Leave their children vulnerable. Um, it's like crazy. The children should have a mask for their own protection. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, That's Deborah. One. Right. Right. Because it's, it's, I mean, yeah, just, I don't know. I think we just, like, like you said, like since the beginning, you know, the mask and the six feet, I think the six feet is even more so like treat, you know, like I think people are treating it like, all oh, right. And let's point that out. And Jesse was vaccinated a uh, home, but pointing out the, Thank that you we for still that, need Sam. To keep our dis distance. I think that's the problem. We just they need to be keep the mask, keep the distance, I, and I think it'll it should it would mitigate most of the issues. But I think people are so in a rush, which I understand, mm. to go back to living, <laughs> you know, go well, back see, to going out doing what I was doing in the crowd and the groups and well, everything like that. But as you, you see in the motif behind me, this is a, a football <laughs> arena. Yes, yes, indeed. and so. Last year, the uh, the NFL had a rule where only 
would the capacity would be 25 percent he's just all that hugging <laughs> yeah now <laughs> it is now it is wide open oh, i mean back it is wide open yeah i hugged samantha capacity. yesterday and only and only and only one <laughs> and only one stadium has has a has has a uh, a mandate okay of checking to see if you're vaccinated or not to attend attend their games and that's uh, the Las Vegas Raiders in Allegiant right. Stadium. Right. That's one out of thirty, right? right. Thirty stadiums, right. one out of thirty. The other twenty nine, hey, yeah. this is open. We we open the gates. Have a uh, good time because we want to we want to have your pre- we want to have your money. Ah, I mean, we want to have your presence back. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but uh, the same point. Did you hear about Barry Sanders, Cole? No, no, I didn't. Barry Sanders put out a statement about a week ago saying that he has – now this we're talking about the same person who everybody said retired from the Hall of Fame NFL running back, one of the all-time greats, mm-hmm. who people said when he retired, he retired too soon. If he had played a full career, he would have unreachable records. That's what they wow. say about Barry Sanders. Heck, if he just played one more year, he would have had he would have been the most prolific rusher of all time. Just all one time. year of all time, okay. just one year. Wow. Yeah. But okay. he walked away before he did that. Yeah. Right. And he walked away from the game because he said he cared more about his ability to be there for his children health wise. Nice. Uh, he didn't want the game to break his body. Wow. Uh, and so he felt like his time was up. Nice. So this same person who was that careful yeah. about his football yeah. career right. put out a statement a week ago, a week ago saying. I have practiced every safety measure that I can. I am fully vaccinated, he said, and I have been double masked. Wow. And I still got COVID. Wow. That was Barry Sanders. He put out a statement telling people, do not play with COVID. Thank you, Don't do it. Don't fool yourself. He said, I've done everything right. I don't know what happened. He right. said, I, I don't, I've social distance. I've been masked up. I'm careful about where I go. I got right. vaccinated. I did all those things and I still tested positive. Right. Thank he you said for COVID that, is Barry. nothing to play with. So uh, yeah, not. I had to tip my hat and, and it, yeah. it, there's a lot of credibility because as much, as long as I have known Barry Sanders, one thing that I've known is that he cared about his health enough to where, now yeah, we're talking about a person who never celebrated when he scored a touchdown. Nope, really? just toss a ball. He just gave the ball just to the referee the and to the went ref. back to the huddle, went back to the sidelines. Mm-hmm. He never, he wow. was so humble. He never taunted. Yes. He never did anything like that. Wow. And he was the yeah. baddest man on the field every time he stepped on right. the field. Right. right? Yeah. You, you would never know about watching him. Mm-mm. Right. Never. Right. 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 So never. this same person put this statement out. And so it carries a lot of weight yeah. coming yeah. from it does. Barry Sanders. It most yeah. certainly does, Pastor. And I'm so thankful that Barry actually put that out there. Yeah. Because I, because I, 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 if I couldn't put out any other message to anybody, it's that you could right. be vaccinated, you can you can stand six feet from people, you could be masked up, you could be double masked up, you right. still will catch this virus, and yeah. it, and it's just that potent. Right. But people are in such a need to want to get back to how it was like in 2019. <laughs> Back they the don't. Day. They, they don't care <laughs> right. that there is a virus that can run rampant and just kill people. That's why I basically say, it, it, somewhat in a somewhat in a jest manner, but I'm somewhat serious. Yeah, I really do say that it is Operation Population Control out here. Wow. Yeah. Well, when you think about all the conspiracy theories, when you think about you know Bill Gates and you know his investment in the World Health Organization, you think mm-hmm. about all the the uh, messaging mm-hmm. that he was putting out overseas many years ago and, and where right. his money has been and, and right. why it, you know, is a voice of technology speaking to health and wellness right. on a global right. stage. Right. You know, he's the same person who talked about population control right. back in the eighties and nineties. Yes. Yep. Nice. So, yeah, that's right. And, and so they were concerned with the number of people in the earth and that they had right. to come up with something to stem those numbers. To reduce those numbers and so you think about that kind of stuff it's like oh man something like this gives credence to that because they're now saying that and now please understand this we're having a conversation uh, yes. this conversation has nothing to do with what i believe about my god exactly right all right let's not Say get that, that confused because people yeah. out there oh that, that pastor on there promoting <laughs> the, stuff. Right. 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 the devil is a lie right all right, right. Yes, um, he is. yes 
but but what I'm saying is when you think about all of that kind of stuff, yeah. and you think about everything that's transpiring right now, I just read last week that we're no longer they're not, they're no they're they're starting to soften the the use of the term pandemic and they're transitioning to mm-hmm. the term endemic. They're saying mm-hmm. that we have to get used to living with COVID yes. because COVID is not going anywhere. All right. That's what right. they're saying. It's here. Right. Period. There's no overcoming it. It's not going to go away because it's it's too rampant in in the world that it's just something that we're going to have to learn to deal with. Now, how right. we deal with it is the question. That's the question because right. COVID is here. Now yeah. the question right. is what do we do? And that's right. why I say, you know, looking at it from a spiritual perspective, you know, even Paul talked about the thorn in his side. Yes. Right. Yes. He said God mm-hmm. was not going to remove the thorn. Right. Paul had to learn to live, to live with the, the thorn. thorn. Right. You know, and so the question for us is, what do we do now? Right. Right. Are you going to learn to cope, learn to over? Are you going to practice the safety things? Are you going to do? Are you going to change your behavior? Uh, because it's evident that this has changed the world. Right. I'll, uh, I'll say I've kind of liked, you know, some of the adjustments restaurants have made. You know, they they beefed up, you know, the reservations or like online, you know, like, you know, how you go like the Cracker Barrel, not like the, the, the high end, but the Cracker Barrel, you can set your set your place in line before you get to the <laughs> get to Cracker Barrel, you know, like, so you don't have to wait with the crowd anymore. Like, I I think some of the, the measures, you know, the distancing, even even the limiting in stores, like, so I know it's not a crowd of people. I wait. <laughs> It's not a crowd of people I'm dealing with. Yeah. You know, some of these measures, I feel it, it mitigates everything, not only just COVID, but colds, flu. You know, I, I had like I just got the sniffles like probably like last month. You know, like I had sniffles. And I've had usually when the change of weather happens, you know, your body goes through it. I always go through and I didn't like last year, this year, really, because, I, you know, just being away from <laughs> the basic germs, you know. Oh, he said, oh, okay. Uh oh. Breaking oh. news. Justin, Pfizer shot just received FDA approval. Thank you, Sam. Political, and that's a political move. Yeah, I was, I was, I was about to say. He said it's a political move. <laughs> no, he's right. He's right Early. because that's been Absolutely. that's been a talking point with many people who are anti vaxxers. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. That's the main yeah. thing. They, yeah, they, wrote, they, wrote, they, they wrote these vaccines out. FDA ain't approved it. So why right. should yeah. I take it? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That that's just that's just uh break that's that's breaking a path, that's creating a path for uh mandated vaccines. You're right, if FDA approves it. Yeah. Uh, first, but you have to you have to get it approved first before yeah. you can mandate it. Yeah. Right. They're gonna take your choices away. Right. Lord Jesus this evening. Mm-hmm. But but the, the, yep. well, like I said, some of the some of the distancing, you know, has helped. Um and it's you know it's so crazy, Pastor. I'm thinking about you in the doctor's office. I'm like, as soon as my man came in, my whole breathing pattern would have changed. Like, <laughs> 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 or I would like, I probably listen. Once he started checking stuff, I'd have probably held my breath and got out the office. <laughs> you, <laughs> like, you became, you became the detective in the you became the detective in, in the Harlem Knights who got locked right. in the safe. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Aiello, you know what it is? yeah, Danny Aiello, yeah. 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 yeah, it was Danny Aiello, yeah. <laughs> But That's yeah, I would because there are moments like you hear somebody cough and you like, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they start hacking. You like, I gotta get, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out mm-hmm. here. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think um, some of the mitigations of of what we've done with the distancing and the masking, I think, should stay in place. Um, even you know, like I remember going to Cracker Barrel, they had to the separate like every other table. I like that too. It's like fine, I'll yeah. wait. <laughs> you like, I'll wait longer. You know. I, I like the distance. I think mm-hmm. it's needed, especially I it's think necessary. now, like, like you said, it's not going away. It's definitely needed. It's definitely needed. Yeah. Oh man. So the D- Dolores dropped a gym. Yes. And this is what's so funny about what she said. So back around 1918, oh. 1919, 1920, there was a there was a pandemic then too. It was called the Spanish flu. Right. And it was basically brought. It was basically brought to the United States from soldiers who fought in World War One, and they brought something over from I forgot exactly where, but they brought it into the states. Uh, they knew that they were under some sort of virus overseas, 
they didn't they just basically shut up the whoever you know whoever was the governing bodies then they basically just shut up and the and the the, the boys came home and infected the whole country wow and overall it was about six hundred thousand people who died in in wow. that pandemic but the, the the country did the same thing then as it did you know last year okay well this is pandemic we're going to shut everything down right protect everything be masked up you know we're going to make sure that we're going to have this thing just simply play uh play its course and it will go back to business as usual right whether you had people back then that had the don't tread on me vibe you know no you mm -hmm. can't tell me what to do this right. is my rights right you know oh, this yeah. is you know, th this, you know, this is my body. I could do whatever it is that I want to do. If right. I want to go outside, I'm going to go outside. If I want to be in front of some, somebody less than six feet, I'm going to be with somebody less than six feet. Government ain't going to tell me what to do. You had that in the 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 20. Right. And it is something to the effect of seeing history repeat itself because in, in the case of history, I'm going to be completely blunt. We're stupid. <laughs> because the saying is true. You you by cold. <laughs> yes, the, I, I will. I will say just like just like sometimes when Pastor says, "This is not the Pastor. This is Brian. <laughs> this is not Brothers Alexi. This is Cole." <laughs> there is there is a saying which I really do be, believe is true. Those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Right. And most right. United States of America citizens do not learn from history because they don't care <laughs> about history, right. and then they repeat it. Right. And wonder why is this, why we're going through this like it's for, like it's the first time we're going through something right. right of this nature right yeah yeah it's well it's because this generation is different we're not those people <laughs> we're not them. We're not them. We're not them. our bodies are different oh, <laughs> don't drop the bike though so fast man <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Oh all man! Right. So, all right, guys. <laughs> we appreciate you guys rocking. We just kind of need to get that out. We need to vent on that. Um, like I said, again, we're not medical doctors. We're just sharing our opinions from three different perspectives, which kind of match up to the same perspective. <laughs> it, it does. It <laughs> and we're in three different places. Uh, what, what? Two states. Two different states. Oh, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, in the end, be safe, continue, please, please. continue to wear your mask. Just, please. I ain't talking about the, the vaccine. That's what you choose. Cause you know, this is what you got to put into your body. So you choose that. But I just ask that you just wear your mask. I know it's not comfortable. I know, I know, hmm. I know it's not comfortable. It's annoying. They get hot up when I wear a mask. Right, right. I wear anyway. yeah, I can yeah. right. I listen, <laughs> I, I've, I've got to the point where. I haven't even been wearing my glasses. I had gotten so used to taking them off when I put the <laughs> right. mask on. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> because it's just so irritating. But I'm like, I'd rather wear my mask right. and, and have blurred vision. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? I have to struggle a little bit. Wait, wait, I'm don't telling you, man, I, I have put my glasses on the back burner just to, to favor the mask. And right. I and I'm telling you, look, when I tell you I detest this mask, man, I yes. hate wearing yeah. The mask. Yeah. I just I do absolutely too. hate it. Yeah, you know? I do too. But I'm going to wear it. Yeah. You know, yeah. lift up our college students. Yes. People yes. encourage your yes. college students to be careful yes. because their peers don't care. And one thing that I've I've said to my <laughs> daughter, thank the Lord, she's at Georgia State. We got her all moved in. Praise the right. Lord last week. Um, but I told her, I said, the problem, I, what you don't think about. Said that if you fall to the to the pressure mm. of people not wearing their mask, I said, if you get sick, think about this. If you get COVID, you can't come home to get well. Wow. Sure not. Sure looking now that's a powerful statement to give a young person. Right. right. You hear me? Mm -hmm. and that's yeah. what you need to be telling your children. And I knew it had to hurt you when you did say that, man. Yeah. Man, I, it makes you feel like you're less than a father because, I'm like, I don't yeah. care what the deal is, but the reality yeah. is, yeah, how I can't bring you home and infect everybody else, right? Right, and that's some harsh truth. The people are like you don't love your daughter, you're supposed to be bigger than you. So, you're no, 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 that, no, that's no. a prime example of tough love, right there. Right. That's real, right? Yeah, 
you out there in that college and you don't want to wear your mask and you hanging out with all them crowds and all the people and you get sick, you can't come home to heal. Now, how much pressure, how hard do you think that's going to be on your parents? Right. 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 Who got their baby out there sick and there's nothing they can do about it. Right. You know, people have to come to you. Right. Yep. Now, y'all need to think about that kind of stuff. Now, that's that's some truth for your behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. As my mama used to say. <laughs> All right, guys. Your mama sounds like a wise woman. <laughs> Very wise. Very wise. Very wise. <laughs> Love your mama, Croy. <laughs> hey, good morning, Miss Vaughn. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We appreciate you guys rocking and hanging with us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow, same time, same channel. Uh, make sure you watch Purpose for Forever tonight. Um, we're going to have a great discussion to kind of decide move between some, some topics, but yeah, it's going to be one of them good ones, some good juicy ones. So make sure you check us out tonight at 8 o'clock. Um, as always, I appreciate you. Make sure you share. Join our text community. Uh, text LW into 84576. Text LW into 84576. Never miss a broadcast. And get be a part. You know, like I said, we like the exchange. And if you have any uh, topic, if you have any um, ideas for topics, please email us. Rich. I got Rich in the, on the queue, so I'm definitely. Oh, that's not what I meant to put. <laughs> I got Rich in. He oh, he sent some topics, so I'm definitely gonna cover those. Uh, Deborah sent some as well. I somehow lost it, then they popped back up. But <laughs> she sent me some topics as well. So you guys have been a blessing to help us shape what we discuss because we want to discuss what you guys are interested in. You know, we got a lot of stuff going on, but we definitely want to make sure that we're discussing the things that you guys want to talk about. All right. So we look forward to seeing you guys same time, same channel um, in the AM. And I look forward to seeing you guys tonight at 8 p.m. As always, know that we love you. God loves you more. And we're going to say it again. As always, we love you. Uh, Know that God loves you more. Stay safe. Thank you guys for rocking and hanging. Make sure you're sharing. All of my replay peoples that watch in the background.